fields in Microsoft Word are placeholders which can return a dynamic value to be shown as a part of a document. This functionality is especially usable when you want to ensure that your document shows updated values instead of static text. Please note that the notion of fields has double meaning in Microsoft Word. Fields are both the placeholders showing dynamic content, but the same name is also used for the containers storing values in forms. In this video we will focus on fields being the placeholders. You may have used the functionality of fields without realizing that. For instance, you may have inserted a page numbers in your documents. Or maybe you have inserted a table of contents. These are all fields in the background. However, fields are much more than just a page number or table of contents. Apart from showing values, you can also do various operations with fields. In this video, we will focus on the basic functionalities of fields. Be sure to check out our future videos on the more advanced ones. Some fields can be added to your document through dedicated buttons. For instance, if you go to Insert Page Number menu, you will get several options for adding page numbers to the header or footer of your document or even to the main text. Similarly, if you go to References menu, you can add Table of Contents, Table of Figures or Index. However, if you want to see the full list of fields you can add to your document, you have to go to Insert Quick Parts Field. This opens a new window allowing you to select among all available fields and even creating formulas based on values returned by fields. By default, most fields will show a value that either has already been defined, for instance as a part of the document's metadata, or a value that can be calculated based on the contents of the document, for instance page number or the total number of pages. However, in certain cases you will be able to define the value shown by the field you are adding and this in turn will update the related metadata field. More on this a bit later. Let's start with a simple example. If you want to add the page number to your text, you know that you can use the Insert Page Number menu. But you can achieve the same effect if you go to Insert Quick Parts Field and then select Page. Similarly, if you want to show the total number of pages in your document, just pick NUM pages from the list. Please note that in both cases you can also define the format in which the page number or the total number of pages is supposed to show. Another example of how fields can be used is to show the creation date of the document. Of course you can always type it manually, but that can be cumbersome. Instead, pick Create Date from the list of fields. If you want to show the author of the document, simply pick Author from the list of fields showing when you click on Insert Quick Parts Field. Please note that in this case, apart from being able to choose the format of your field, you also see an empty field property called Field Name. If you leave this field empty and click OK, Word will show the author of the document as it is defined in the metadata of the document. You can check this by going to File Info menu of your document. The Author field is an example of a field for which you can define its value while adding it. If you enter a value in the Field Name field in the dialog opening after clicking Insert Quick Parts field, it will not only show in your text but it will also update the metadata field of your document. Most fields will update automatically but in certain situations you may need to manually refresh a field. You can do it by right-clicking on the field you want to update and then clicking on the Update field in the context menu. Alternatively, you can click on the field you want to update and press F9. If you want to update all fields in your document, you can simply mark the whole text or press Ctrl A and then press F9. There are a lot of fields to choose from and you can find the value displayed by each one by looking at the bottom of the dialog showing when you add a new field. For some fields like Author or Create Date, you can also specify the format in which the value of the field is supposed to be displayed. However, there are some fields for which you can specify an additional property with which you can further define what value is to be shown. An example of such field is Doc property. If you pick this field to be added, you will see that you can then specify which property is to be shown. Some of these properties overlap with fields defined in the field list, but some are different. But Doc Property has one more interesting feature. If your document has a custom property defined, you can display the value of the property here. 
There are different ways of creating custom properties, especially if you store your document on SharePoint, but here we will show how to create a custom property from within Word, regardless of where the document is stored. In order to do so, go to File, Info, and then click on the down arrow next to the Properties field. This will show a menu with only one option, Advanced Properties. If you click this button and then go to Custom tab, you can define your own document property. This can be useful if you want to additionally categorize or group your documents in order to find them easier or simply to store values to be used in the documents through the fields functionality. Enter the name of your property and choose what type of values it will store. Finally, define the value of the property and click OK. If you then want to use this property in your document, simply go to Insert, Quick Parts, Field and choose Doc Property. Then in the list to the right, pick your field and voila! Microsoft Word is a bit inconsistent with how it works with fields related to metadata and updating them. You know already that you can add the author field and define its value while adding the field. It gets interesting when you add the author field more than one time to the document, each time setting it to a different value. Each time you do it, Word will update the author field in the document's metadata, but it will not update the already existing instances of this field in the text. Additionally, if you refresh any of the instances of the author field in your document, it will not update the other instances, but it will update the metadata field for the document. The explanation of this phenomenon goes beyond the scope of this video, but we will cover it in a separate one dedicated to more advanced topics related to working with fields. Be sure to check out our future videos in order not to miss this one.